Hey guys! Well, I know <laughs> this is kind of weird be doing this after we've beaten the game and whatnot. Um, I'm actually doing a little bit of like post story stuff. Um, I don't know if you noticed this, but after you beat the game, you get a little status screen on the menu on this on the screen here. Uh, one, it'll tell you your time on the lower left hand corner, and it'll tell you how many expansions you got on the upper right hand corner. And to the end, well, what I'm going to do is, now that we've beaten the game, I'm going to go show you where all the remaining items are in the game. I know I mentioned this, I wasn't going for 100%, but I might as well show it off now, so I might, I, I'm might. i going to do this. So, I'm going to call this like series like Route to 100%, but anyways, I missed an energy tank earlier in the LP, way early in the LP, all the way back in the first boss area, you can actually get a second energy tank. And I didn't mention this before, so I'm gonna go get it real quick. Anyways, what you can do is, now you have screw attack, you can pretty much destroy these blocks up here. And you can go back to where we were earlier. Oh, holy crap, holy crap, holy crap, holy crap. Okay, get up. There we go. Okay, there we go. Now, right here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna reveal something. You see that? That's a missile block there. You shoot two of them, and you come over here, and there's a missile expansion. Yeah, I know. I didn't. I, I completely forgot that that was there until someone commented on my video already about it. So, thank you. By the way, a little shout out for you. Now, how many items do I have? I have. Now, if you push select on the menu. It'll tell you how many in that sector of the, of the map that you've collected. So I've collected all three energy tanks, I've collected all seven missile expansions, but I only need one power bomb. Now that power bomb is not is in the restricted area, and we'll get to that here in a little bit. But actually we're going to take like an alternate route down to uh, the sectors and try to get the remaining expansions that we need. And also, I didn't mention this before, but I did pick up a in my failed record, my failed uh, gosh, what do you call that? My failed file of the game where I had to start over. I accidentally picked up a missile expansion that I I didn't in the in the regular recording in this file, but I'm gonna go show it anyways. Show you the location of it anyways. So, all right, let's go over to sector one. Do 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 do. And like I mentioned before, this music plays throughout the entire entirety of the rest of the game, so... But yeah, I'm gonna actually, like I said before, I'm going to go and get all the rest of the items, and get 100% on this, on this file, show you where every single item is, and I'm gonna do two more bonus episodes afterwards. Um, one of them being all the ending screenshots you can get in the game. There's, um, if I recall, there's five. There's five ending screenshots, and I will show them off in a bonus episode. And I'll tell you the conditions in which you need to get said bonus item. And the other bonus item is, in fact, a... There's an Easter egg in this game that you can only acquire by, um, doing a sequence of sequence breaking in order to get past it. Um, anyways, I'm gonna meet you guys back... I'm gonna meet you guys back into the room that we need to be in to get this expansion because if I recall I only need I only need one energy tank and one power bomb and I know where they are, so I'll see you guys in a second. Alright guys, if you guys are wondering where I am on the map, I'm he here. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm here. This is outside the boss room. And if you, if you guys didn't even notice. Um what you need to do, this is gonna be a sequence of uh, speed boosting. Yeah, I know. We're gonna we're gonna use more sequence breaking in order to get this power up. Actually, these two power ups, for that matter. All what you need to do is you need to go in the save room all the way over, then activate your speed booster, and you run through this and then push down quickly. Shoot this, and then gosh darn it, I screwed that up. That didn't work out as planned. I usually get those on the first try too. Okay, let's try it again. Okay, let's try this again. Shoot, 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 shoot. Then activate speed booster. Go down. Okay. Yeah, there we go. And inside here is a power bomb expansion. So, 
grab that, and then the last item in Sector 1 is, in fact, another speed booster thing that we have to do. So we have to go back into the save room. And then we gotta go run all the way up here. Now this one's tricky because it is, it in fact, in the boss room. And then you go like this. And then, yeah, there we go. When we get hit the hill, and we keep going. And then come down here, and then go upwards. And that's how you get that energy tank there. Now that that's kind of complicated. It, it, it uses a lot of speed boosting tr tricks that you might not be accustomed to. But all you need to know is, whenever you activate speed booster, push down on the control pad very quickly, and then you have a limited amount of time to activate speed uh, the shine sparking. What you need to do in order to activate said shine sparking is hold A, and then Samus builds up power, and then point in the direction you want her to go in. And that's how you get it. But anyways, I think. Yeah, we got all the items in Sector 1, so I'm going to make a quick cut to the shortcut to Sector 2, and we're going to go and get the items there that we're missing, so I'll see you guys in a second. Alright guys, we're back here in the main hub of Sector 1. In order to get this um, Sector 2 shortcut, you go up here in this green hatch area, and then you screw attack through the wall here. Now, I told you that there was, a, there was an item over here, but actually, if you jump up here, there's a hidden block. Then you, excuse me, then you come over here, and it activates a little shortcut to Sector 2. Now, let's go back to Sector 2. There's a couple items that we missed there. Killing stuff, because it's fun. Okay, um, the first, actually, how many do I, how many am I missing? I'm missing one energy tank, three missile expansions, and four power bombs. Okay, alright, there's, there's quite a bunch in Sector 2. Alright, I know one for sure is in here. I know, this is the stupidest thing. I actually, I think that I've already gotten this in my old file, but I didn't get it in this file for some stupid reason, so I'm gonna go pick it up real quick. I think I might have. I, I need to go and review my clips again. But I, I don't... I think I got it, but I'm not sure. Anyways, this one... This one's a little complicated because you wouldn't think that there would be a missile or missile or power bomb expansion in this. But actually, if you go into the security room and you come up here, there's uh, screw attack blocks there, and it reveals this door here. Now, this one, this this room right here is very tricky. I'm going to show you. I'm going to plant a power bomb real quick. You see all those? Those are collapsible bricks, or collapsible platforms, and if you hit one, you fall through them like that. Uh, this is going to make it really hard. Dang it. But there's two expansions in this room. Come on. Ugh. Come on. Come on, man. You can do this. You did this earlier. I Okay, I did a practice run of uh, this game earlier, and in fact, I got like all the items in less than two hours, so I was happy. Oh, no! Don't, no, you don't. No freaking A, seriously. You see that energy tank there, and you see the power bomb expansion there. Ugh. Okay, let's try this again. <laughs> you guys might actually get a chance to see a lot of fail Taj, so... No! No, dang it. I, okay, give me a break. I am playing on Game Boy. I'm not playing my... Eh. Here, just use the directional pad if that's what you're used, used to. Oh, darn it. Okay, come on, I can concentrate on this. No! Okay. Directional pad, man. Sorry, my commentary has died already. Oh gosh, I'm trying to concentrate. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, I can easily get over there. There we go, got that, got that energy tank. Now, now on to the hard one, which is that power bomb. No! No! I almost got it! Darn it! Okay, let's try it again. Come on. No! Crap! Okay, just use the analog stick. I think you were having more... more success with that. No, 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 no. Darn it. I was doing this flawlessly earlier. Why... Okay, come on, man. 
I hate this room. I just absolutely despise it. I almost got that. Seriously. No. Dang it. You see why this room sucks? Uh, there's another room that's kind of like it. Actually, I think this is like the worst expansion to get. I honestly think these are the worst expansions to get. Because it's so freaking tedious. Uh, come on, man. You don't want a majority of your video being doing this. Hey, come on, man. No! Ugh. Okay, guys, I'm gonna cut to whenever I actually get this. So I'll see you guys in a second. Alright, guys, as you can see, I, in fact, got the Power Bomb expansion after many tries. Ugh, gosh, I hate this room. Ugh. I just have a... I'm not gonna say what, what's gonna happen after this, but... There's something that's happening, a special project I'm doing after this, but... I'm not gonna get into that until later, so... Well, anyways... A certain someone's gonna benefit from that. I'll just... I'll tell you right now. Okay, now... I gotta remember where the other crap is. Um... Okay, got, got all the energy tanks, need two missile expansions... I need three power bomb expansions. Now I know where. Okay, I know where I'm going. Okay, good. Woo! I thought for a second there I wasn't too sure where I was going, but I have a. I know where I'm going now. So we need to go in here, morph ball. Avoid these idiots. I didn't avoid that idiot. I got hit by that idiot. And in fact, we need to be in this this column of a room again. So. Die, birdies. Die, birdies. But anyways, this room right here I didn't explore. What I need to, I need to come in this room because there's two power bomb expansions in this room. What I need to do is I need to use the diffusion missiles very effectively. Okay. Ugh, I think that might might do it. I'm not sure. Let's see how it Okay, good. Yes. Okay, that's how you do it. You need to have um, the second turtle inching out on the right side of that column. And then you need another turtle that's inching out on the left side of the column so you can squeeze right in there. So, anyways, that's how you get that power bomb. And then shoot down immediately. There's another one right under e underneath it. I'm like, why is, it, why is there two in this? I don't understand that, but anyways, nonetheless, we got two more power bomb expansions, so we only need one more. Now, the next power next upgrade is way down here. In fact, it's something I should have gotten the first time I visited I visited Tro. Ugh, I'm, I'm kicking myself because of it. I don't understand why I didn't visit get this missile expansion. Ugh, this was an easy one. This honestly was an easy one. But in fact, over here, I'll kill these things first. Ugh, birds. In fact, if you go down here and bomb this block here, it reveals a little section. You come down here, there's another missile expansion. Ugh. Like I said, I can't believe I missed that. That's something I, I don't usually miss. Easy ones like that, but I guess I wasn't paying attention. Now, I think there's two more expansions left in this sector, but I'll go grab them real quick. Yeah, this might be, be a multiple part episode, but nonetheless, it'll be fine. I'm going for 100% of the game, trying to 100% it for you guys. But the last two are actually inside the boss room. You remember the gigantic um, hoppy thing that we fought earlier? Yeah, we need to go back inside that room. So, let me see how far that is from here. I don't think it's that far from here. Do do. Oh, wait, 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 hold on a sec. Turn right around, Matt. You're not going the right way. You need to powerbomb this. Thank you, X-Parasites. Matter of fact, you need to come over here. Yes. Do, 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 do. So how was your guys' day? My day was good. Oh, actually, it's really been boring because, well, I'll get into that later. But anyways, in the boss room, if you fly up here, in the top right corner, you can actually screw attack 
blocks there, and you come in down here. Now, this room is a pain. The only reason why it's a pain is because it, it involves you. Hold on, I'll be right back, guys. Alright, guys, I'm sorry, I was rudely interrupted. Anyways, um, this... This room right here involves you using Speed Booster, or Shine Sparking a lot. What you need to do for here is that, if you don't mess up like me, why aren't you playing this on the TV, Matt? You're just playing this on your computer screen. I go like that. No, oh, Matt. Ugh, much fail. Much, much fail is to be had. Okay. Okay, now, the incline makes it so you continue your Shine Spark. And I keep doing this. It, it, you have like a multiple levels of the, of this in order to get to this upgrade. And I keep doing it. And then keep doing it. And right, right there. That's tricky. That could screw you up. Anyways, we got the power bomb. In fact, there is actually two upgrades in this room. The other one is right here. You see that missile expansion. But in fact, you have to use speed booster there. So let's try to. We have to use speed, uh, Shine Sparking in the air, which, of all things, is weird. Um, I don't think that's how you do it. No, Matt, that's not how you do it. Okay, let's do this again. Okay. Ugh! It's something like that, but I had to make that aim perfect. Okay, let's try this again. Ugh! Okay, at least broke one block. That doesn't matter. If you break one block, it's fine. Now that we've gotten all the items here in Tro, so let's go back over to let's go to sector three. And get all the remaining items there. So I'll see you guys and see you guys back at the sector or er, the crossroads between sector two and sector one. So I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, guys, we're back at the crossroads between sector one and sector two. This is where it is on the map want to know where it is. Anyways, use screw attack to go through here. I think we already been through this, but anyways, let's go back to sector one because there's actually a shortcut between sector one and three in sector one, so let's go and try to go back and get it real quick. It's actually over here. It's actually really close by. Um, anyways, if you jump up here, there's a hidden ledge there. Then use screw attack over here. I think I did this earlier in the recording. Yeah, I did. Anyways, that's sector three shortcut. Yeah, I did because I've gotten this. I got this upgrade here. In fact, there's a lot of uh, stuff that we missed in sector three in general. Um, the first being, I'm going to show this off real quick. Let me kill all these enemies first. No. Die. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to open up the door. I'm going to activate speed booster. Let's try it again. You want to go through this door. And then, okay. Then use Shine Sparking over here. Get over here. There's, in fact, you use Power Bomb here and it reveals a little section here. Inside is a Power Bomb tank, which you guys probably should have guessed by now. Okay. Now we're going to go back into the main hub of Sector 3. I'm really disappointed that I didn't show this off earlier in the report. I might have gotten this, but I'm not sure. It's another one of those I wasn't sure if I got this, but in the last report, last file I made, kind of recording. But now that we have the gravity suit, we can essentially just walk through lava, and not worry about it. So come over here, and there's a missile expansion. I could have gotten this a long time ago when I had the various suits. But if you continue to walk down here, and the shine spark here come up here and there's an energy tank now when you're doing the shine sparking that I just did you need to go and run and keep shooting because there's blocks all over the place now um, well I'm gonna make a slight detour I'm gonna actually go down here into the shortcut down to sector 5 real quick I think there's a couple in sector 5 that I'm missing I'm only missing two in sector 5 so I'm gonna go grab them real quick um, okay look. In Sector 5, I have three energy tanks, four, four out of four missile tanks, and I'm missing two power bomb tanks. This is so stupid, I missed this, too. In fact, if you come up here and try to lay a bomb... Okay, no. That's not gonna work. I'll just... I'll lay a power bomb. There's actually a... No, Matt. Go back 
out there. You know what? Screw it. I'll use screw attack to break it. You see this little section here? I'm getting my butt handed to me as a freaking space pirate. Okay, you, what you need to do is you need to continuously climb like this, and then activate both those hatches there. And you come up here, and power bomb. And there's a hidden power bomb tank for you. Now, the last upgrade in Sector 5, I should have gotten a long time. This is another one of those I should have gotten kind of deals. Drop the bomb. But in fact, it's like outside the security room. Remember whenever I was climbing up towards the security room and I got like my first power bomb expansion? There was another one right above that. Th above that, so I'm gonna go grab it. Actually, I'm gonna go the other way because this isn't gonna lead the right way. Screw a screw a screw a screw. Okay, let's go down here. Go this way. Now we have weight beam, we can act, open up that door with no problem. So, yeah. No save for you. You're gonna fall down here. Yeah. Fall down. And inside is the security room, and it's in this room in particular. You see where I actually, like, this is where, um, I got my first powerbomb expansion in the game, right here. There's actually another power bomb expansion. What I need to do is I need, need to lay another one. And in fact, it reveals another area right above it. Now, normally when you first do this, you would need to do this. But since I have screw attack and space jump, it makes that you, virtually useless. So let's grab this last power bomb tank. And with that, we've gotten everything in second five. You can essentially 100% Sector 5 whenever you come come back in your last visit, so... There's only certain upgrades that you have to you have to desperately come back after you get screw attack and whatnot, but Sector 5 is one of those sectors where it doesn't do that. You can get essentially get 100% of it when you, when you... the last time you visit Sector 5, so... Okay, let's go back to uh, PYR real quick via the shortcuts. So I'll see you guys then. All right, guys, we're back in PYR. So let's climb up here. And actually, you know what? You know what? I'm gonna try to speed boost this real quick. Uh, I don't think I can. Now I got that hole in the wall. Okay, I'm gonna try to do this because it'll make it a lot faster. Essentially, I can go and speed boost or shine spark right through that whole entire hallway right there, so. Like this. <laughs> you can essentially just speed but boost right through it, so. Now, the other items in Sector 3. Okay, whoa. Mads, calm down. Are over here. Uh, I think I might have showed this off during the LP, but, um, if you come down here, like you normally would, there would be a power bomb block right here. Yes, there is. Use a power bomb. And inside is another power bomb expansion. Whoopee! Okay, and now, what we need to do is we need to fall down this long shaft here. And then go in this room real quick. Now I'm just gonna run through lava because I'm a boss and I can run through lava. Okay, all right. Now over here, this is very tricky placement of this item. Use a power bomb here. And in fact, it reveals a little hidden pathway here. You want to come down, go down this this path I'm going down right now because it's actually like a little tiny maze inside this area. But yeah, you want to essentially just follow the route I'm going. And you get another power bomb expansion. Now, I think the last room that has power uh, expansions in Sector 3, I think it involves 
yeah, it involves shine sparking again. Yeah, a lot of these, a lot of these later expansions involve you just shine sparking a lot. So, but actually, there is a hidden room behind here. Sorry, right, I just got a screw attack. Right, right over here is a hidden, hidden patch over here. Normally, you can't get through it. You can essentially find that the first time you go through PYR, but. Um, thing is, though, you're blocked by this, but now that we have Wave Beam, we can go through it. This room has two expansions in it. Okay, if I can essentially get myself up there. See that energy tank? And then you come over here, and there's a missile expansion. Yay, missile expansion! <laughs> We've got almost all the missiles in the game. Now, the last upgrades are over here. You need to screw attack this wall real quick. And then you need to charge yourself with speed booster so you can do shine sparking again. Like this. And you go push down, and then you push upwards. And you, sit and you run into one. You run into a power bomb tank, and then you keep going up this long hallway here. And then just fall down real quick. And there's another one, see? Screw attack this, and you can get this. There you go. You're hit. You have your second one in this room. So, I think that's it in PYR. Let me look. Yes, I do have everything in Sector 3, so... Now let's screw attack these guys. And then just screw attack through this. And let's go back to Sector 1. In fact, um, now the only sector left, I know I didn't se visit Sector 4, but I have actually gotten everything in Sector 4 already. There's really no point in me going back. Uh, so, I'm just going to head on to Sector 6 right now. So, I'll see you guys in Sector 6. Alright guys, we're in Sector 6. Uh, there's a bunch of stuff I missed in Sector 6. Like, I'm really ashamed that I missed all these. Uh, now that we have screw attack, we can essentially make this a shortcut. Oh, Christ, it's, it's staying correct. It won't cooperate with me. Actually, the first upgrade is, is over here. I'm surprised I've missed this. But it's actually an energy tank. Um, what you do is you use bomb down here. And you want the higher path, obviously. And voila, we got another energy tank. We only need one more, and we got all the energy tanks in the game. So... Now, the next one, I think, if I recall, involves speed boosting again. Ugh. This is one that you don't miss. You have to come back. You desperately have to come back for. But then again, I could be wrong. Actually, there's like two of them in the same area. It's in this room whenever we use the power bomb to go through the restricted area, six, Sector 6. Now that we have a screw attack, you would screw attack that, that block like I just did earlier. And you want to come down here, and then go this way, and it's Shine Spark, and then go this way. There's a hidden hatch over here. Now, this puzzle is very tricky. You have to be either shoot or bomb the, these platforms correctly in order to get little pipes to come out. And you see that energy tank over there. That's the last energy tank in the game. But what you want to do is you want to lay a bomb right in this position. Never mind. I'm stupid. You don't want to place a bomb there. As you can see, it hinders your progress, so you can't use speed boost. And you have to exit the room and come back in. What you want to do is you want to lay a bomb in the middle of this platform. It makes a little pipe come out this way. And then you want to do the same with this platform. You want to put a bomb right in the middle of it. it makes two of them. Now, for this platform, you want to put a bomb on the very edge of the very edge of there, and then very edge here. And then for this, you want to do essentially the same thing. You want to put somewhere in the middle. And that makes the platform there. So let's do speed boosting real quick. Ugh, shoot! Darn it. Let's try it again. Do, do, do. And there we go. We got the last energy tank in the game. Now, you need to do this technique in order to get out. Because you are essentially trapped. So go... Do speed boosting this way. Now the other expansions are kind of in the same scenario. We need to go set ourselves up for a speed boosting again. 
Alright, let's try it again. Open the door. Okay, now come on down here and activate speed booster. Shine spark. And then go this way. Am I? Someone's calling me. Really? <laughs> but anyways, we get into this room, so I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, as you guys saw, I'm sorry about that, I was rudely interrupted, but um, we entered this room here through speed boosting and we just skimmed over it. What you need to do is you need to uh, do that, uh, not that, never mind, I skimmed over it again, but you want to position yourself in a way you can hit that upgrade real quick, like this, this is how you get it, there you go. Now, there's another upgrade in this room, and this one's kind of a toughie. It took me a while to figure this out. Up here, if you go in Morph Ball and lay some bombs down, it's Speed Booster. The thing is, though, so are these. You'll fall right through once you activate Speed Booster. What I would like to do is I'd like to do this way. Go Speed Boost it, or Shine Spark, and then go this way. Well, not that, essentially. Uh, let's try it again. Oh. Okay, let's try this. Do and then you want to jump and then continuously do that, but you can see where that was gonna lead. I crashed through the the top there. Okay, let's try it again. Okay, there we go. Got it. Got this power bomb expansion. Okay. Now we're done. Essentially done in this room. This room is pretty much done. So let's go. Fly away now. Fly away. Okay, there we go. And in order to get out of this room, you can just jump up here, and then there's a breakaway block there. Now, if I recall, there's another power bomb in this restricted area. Yeah, right there. Don't fall down like I, I almost did. In fact, use screw attack again. Use screw attack on these blocks. And then come over here, and you can probably see that power bomb expansion over there. Ooh, fell through the floor. And what we need to do is we need to set a power bomb. And be careful of the breakaway blocks. No, no, no. Of course I say that. I, I always do that, too. Ugh, no. I was pushing A to jump out. Gosh, I'm gonna have so much trouble with this. Ugh. No, seriously, stop it! Stop it, game! Stop it! Ugh. Dang it! You can see how tough that that one is in general. Darn it! Seriously, I wouldn't have this much trouble if I was if I was just playing on the GBA. I'm playing on a freaking GameCube controller. Okay, let's try this again. No! <sighs> there we go. Got it. Okay, got it. There we go. Now, I think that's all of them in the restricted area. How many do I have left? I need two more missile expansions. Oh, I got all the power bomb expansions. Oh, yeah, that's right. There's a couple missile expansions I missed, and I was like, really? I missed those. Out of all of them to miss, I missed those. So let's grab them real quick. I remember these quite well. They're actually, in fact, like, at the towards the bottom of Sector 6. And I missed these the first time we, we visited this place. Well, let me just go grab them real quick. Die, Evil X. Blue X. And my game was lagging. Holy cow, that game was lagging really bad there. Okay. Bomb. Okay, anyways, like I mentioned before, I did a speed run of this game just earlier. I actually got 100% with all the items um, in less than two hours, so I got the best screenshot you can possibly get in the game, so. So, yeah. I'm 
gonna show that, like I said, in the, in the next bonus episode, I'm gonna show off all the screenshots you can get. But anyways, let me clear out this room real quick. I miss this missile expansion. Remember when I was bombing this, thinking there was something here? Actually, if I just go through it, it was an invisible block, and there was, in fact, something here. It was a missile expansion. We almost got up almost all the missile expansions. I think the next one will be the last one that we need. Now, the, the next one was kind of stupid, too, because, well... I should have grabbed this. I usually do. I don't know, know why it didn't in the playthrough. I might have, actually, because it was a, the older file. I think I might have grabbed this already. But I didn't in this playthrough for some stupid reason. If you come up here, you normally you would have to fall through here. But you see that hole there? Grab it, and then go through it. And there's actually a missile expansion here. I might have grabbed this earlier in the LP, but... Nonetheless, now I have all the missile expansions. I have all the energy tanks. The only thing I'm missing is, I think, one more power bomb expansion. Let me see how many I've got. Yeah, I only need one more. And the last one is in the restricted zone. I'll show you. I'll show you where it is. So right now I'm sitting at 99%. So actually, I'm gonna go to this to the restricted area of sector six. So I'll see you guys then. All right, guys. So we're here in the restricted zone. Here we are on the map. Um, anyways, this last one is kind of tricky. I'll, I, I usually save this one for last because this is, a, in fact, in the restricted zone. And the restricted zone itself is hard. But you want to speed boost here and then just go straight up. And that's your last power bomb tank. And with that, we have everything, everything in the game. We have 20... 20 uh, energy expansions, we have 48 missile expansions, and we have 32 power bomb expansions. Um, well, I guess I got one thing left to show you guys. I'm going to beat the game real quick, and I'll show you the ending screenshot you get for 100%ing the game. So I'll see you guys at, at, during the credits. Alright guys, I made a complete total derp. I told you guys I would show you that missile expansion that I got during this gameplay, but I didn't do in the other one. Um, if you guys remember this room here, yeah, the, I was I was trying to do it in the old recording. I was trying to remember how to do it. But what you need to do essentially is to let the X morph into other creatures and then use them as platforms. And then kill this, this douchebag and let him turn into a turtle. Or absorb like a total freaking imbecile. Okay, let, let, let's let, the, let this guy. Okay, there we go. And what you essentially need to do is just wait for the turtle. Okay, or not just completely miss him like I'm doing. Okay, I don't want to cartwheel into him because I don't want to kill him. And then it would be right there. You guys see that I already got it, but. Yeah, it would be right there, so... Anyways, that was the missile expansion that I that I missed in, in the previous playthrough, but I got in this one. So that's essentially all the expansions that are covered for. I've shown off where every ex single expansions are. Now I'm gonna go beat the game, so I'll see... I'll truly I'll truly see you guys at the end, end, end in the credits. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Alright, guys. Now that we've beaten the game, I'll show you what the screenshot is whenever you get 100%. Well... Since we did it over two hours, it'll be different. So our clear time was two hours and 55 minutes. And the rate for collecting items is 100%. Well, anyways, guys, that's pretty much it. Um, in the next episode, er, next episode of Let's Play Metroid Fusion, I'm going to show off some bonus. I'm going to show off what all the screenshots are, and I'm going to show you um, how to get said screenshots. So I'll see you guys in the bonus episode of Let's Play Metroid Fusion. See you guys later.